How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Talking Wow, the very first episode of Talking Wow, where we talk world of wrestling here. I'm your owner, your CEO, your lead commentator. My name is Kyle Masters. We're here to preview this coming week's show of World of Wrestling and also recap last week's show of World of Wrestling. That's exactly what this show is going to be every Monday right here on the No Holds Bar Network YouTube channel. So I hope you guys sit back, enjoy. Uh, we're going to go over again last week's show. It was a very fantastic show of World of Wrestling, and then we're going to preview this week's show right after. So without further ado, let's get right into uh, last week's show and uh, catch you guys up and see what happened in the world of wrestling. He kicked off last week's World of Wrestling with yours truly, making a groundbreaking announcement. We have signed a top-tier talent to World of Wrestling to a lucrative contract for multiple years. It is going to be one of the biggest signings in the E-Federation history. I can promise you that. We will be seeing his debut at the next coming pay-per-view with arms wide open. I am very excited for this, and I'm very excited for everyone here in the World of Wrestling universe to experience this. So everyone is going to see the debut happen at with arms wide open. That is our next pay-per-view right here in the world of wrestling. Last week as well, we continued our World of Wrestling World Tag Team Championship Tournament. We had the New Day taking on the Bullet Club, formerly known as the Gorillas of Destiny, in a tag team match, a tag team dream match of sorts to some there in the wrestling world. But it was the Gorillas of Destiny picking up a strange victory as picking up the victory over Kauno in a tournament, which does count here in the World of Wrestling Tag Team Championship Tournament. I am being told that WoW officials are looking to tweak some of the rules in the tournament, so this something like this does not happen again. So you'll have to tune into World of Wrestling this coming Wednesday to see what changes were made in that tournament. But congratulations to the Gorillas of Destiny, the Bullet Club, for moving on in the Tag Team Championship Tournament. And as we take a look at the updated bracket standings here, we see the three teams that have moved on, the Bullet Club, American Alpha, and the Lucha Brothers. We still have a couple of first-round matches to go, which we will see another first-round matchup coming up this Wednesday on World of Wrestling. Who will come out on top in this tournament and become the first-ever World of Wrestling Tag Team Champions? Speaking of tournaments, we began another tournament here in the World of Wrestling, the Triple Threat Classic Tournament, which kicked us off this week with Ricochet, Darby Allin, and Seth Rollins. Uh, the winner of this match would go on to the Go Home Show to face the winner, the two other winners of the other two Triple Threat Classic Tournaments uh, matches that are going to be happening here in the World of Wrestling. It was a fantastic match, probably one of the matches of the night last week on World of Wrestling, but it ended up being Seth Rollins who was able to defeat Ricochet to move on to the go-home show of the Triple Threat Classic Tournament. Who will come out on top and face Will Ospreay for the European Championship at With Arms Wide Open? Last week, the situation between Adam Cole and Kenny Omega intensified as both men decided to take it upon themselves to attack each other in the backstage area as Adam Cole was set to go one-on-one -on -one with Tetsuya Naito in order to get one step closer to facing Kenny Omega at with arms wide open for the WOW World Championship, but it was Kenny Omega being able to take out uh, Adam Cole and incapacitate him to the point where he could not face Tetsuya Naito. We were going to have an update on Adam Cole and his situation with the championship this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling, so make sure you tune in and see what happens and what what is going to happen concerning these two combatants? In the main event last week, we saw the Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational, which was done by himself, Kenneth Cloverleaf, to prove to the WOW universe that he still belongs and can hang with the likes of men like Kazuchika Okada, Adam Cole, and AJ Styles, just to name a few. And we had Kevin Owens, the man himself, answer the challenge in the first ever Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational. He had a fantastic match with Kenneth Cloverleaf, which saw a lot of incredible spots, including a superplex to the outside by Kenneth Cloverleaf. The WOW universe was going crazy for this one, but it ended up being Kenneth Cloverleaf who picked up the victory over Kevin Owens in this one with the ankle lock and making him tap out. Who will show up this week to face Kenneth Cloverleaf in the Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational to try to for Kenneth Cloverleaf to try to prove to the WOW universe that he still belongs here and that he can be a main event player. 
What a great week it was last week in the world of wrestling. So much happened, guys. If you missed it, it is live right now on the Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv slash noholdsbarredgaming. You can check out the video on demand section. You can check out last week's world of wrestling if you missed anything. So without further ado, let's preview this week's show, which is again sure to be another fire edition of World of Wrestling. Opening up the show this week on World of Wrestling, we actually have the Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational. He is going to open up the show on well. Who will step up to the plate and face Kenneth Cloverleaf as he continues his journey at proving himself to the World of Wrestling Universe that he belongs here in WoW. The World of Wrestling Tag Team Championship Tournament will continue as we have a big first round matchup here. We have FTR, Fear the Revival, whatever you would like to call them, will be taking on the Young Bucks, an AEW type matchup here in World of Wrestling. They will take each other on in this first round. Who will move on in this tournament and get one step closer to becoming the World of Wrestling World Tag Team Champions? And once again, speaking of tournaments, we have another tournament matchup happening on World of Wrestling this week. The Triple Threat Classic continues with another Triple Threat match. Already Seth Rollins moving on. We have Daniel Bryan taking on Pac and Jay White. Switchblade himself in a Triple Threat match this week. Who will move on alongside Seth Rollins to the Go Home Show and get one step closer to that European Championship. And Will Ospreay at the next pay-per-view with arms wide open. So breaking news here on the Talking Wow show. We actually have word that Adam Cole will actually take on AJ Styles this week. Uh, hopefully, he will be at 100%. He might not be at 100%, but if he wants to get to Kenny Omega and that world championship, he's going to have to go through, again, all the other opponents from that Fatal 5-Way at the Kings of the Ring first event. Hey, will he be able to defeat AJ Styles and get one step closer to Kenny Omega? We'll find out more details on the situation as well this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling. And in our main event this week on World of Wrestling, we actually have Brock Lesnar taking on Brian Cage in the tables match as it was announced last week that this situation is far from over between these two. They will take each other on in a tables match. Hopefully this will end the feud. Maybe it will not. We will have to see this Wednesday on World of Wrestling. But in our main event, Brian Cage, Brock Lesnar in a tables match. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for today's episode of Talking Well. Talking World of Wrestling right here on the No Holds Bar Network YouTube channel. Previewing this week's show and reviewing last week's show is going to be posted every single Monday right here to keep, to keep you guys caught up and to let you guys know what's going on in the week of World of Wrestling. I'm your owner, your CEO, your lead commentator, Kyle Masters. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of World of Wrestling, and I hope to catch you guys this Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash noholdsbarrednetwork, and, and sorry, noholdsbarredgaming, and you will be able to catch this week's World of Wrestling live with myself. Pre-show starts at 545. I hope to see you guys there. Take it easy.